Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here, and today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi Battle. If you guys are enjoying these Wi-Fi battles, let me know by leaving a like, and of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'm uploading two to three Pokemon videos a day, every single day. You got Wi-Fi Battle, Shuttle Live, Moveset Video Guys, Pokemon Talking Videos, all that stuff. My end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers, and you help me get there by subscribing. So today we're playing my boy, it's Danny Mac, awesome dude, longtime supporter, and I consider him a friend. I do. And just a great guy. And we're going to be playing in the RU tier. Now, RU is basically, overuse is like the tiers where you see a lot of Scizors and Weavals and Latios and stuff like that, Gliscor. RU is like way below. So I'm going to say this is the unofficial universal code for UUM below. By that, I mean that 2022, 2022 is going to be the code where you're going to be able to find UU games and below. I would make one for UU, one for RU, but then I feel like NU is going to come out. So if you want to use Pokemon that are not OU, and specifically teams like that, I think this is the code you should use instead of just making one for RU, one for UU, and then eventually for NU, Ubers, and stuff like that. I feel like we're, we need to have a lot of people playing first before we can do something like that. So this is the code for UU and below. And of course, if you want to play OU and above, 2022-2021. But yeah, check out Danny's side as well. He'll be recording. We'll be playing two games. So we'll have this game as well as a game tomorrow. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. Shout out to RTSK. I'm using some RU squads. He passed me. And big shout out to Ryan, who also passed me the Pokemon. Let me just tell him to have fun real quick. Have fun, bro. I'm excited. Oh, Muck looks fire. I wasn't looking at this. I was looking at another team I just was looking at. But uh, so this is the OU team we used the other day. Do I want to use the Chimeco Gastrodon one first, or do I want to use, I think I want to use the Kingdra Medicham one first. So, you know, test the waters a little bit. So it's like a mixture of like Sticky Web plus like Rain Dance on Sableye for Specs Kingdra, uh, Rapid Spin Claydol, Scarf Houndoom, and Life Orb Medicham. You guys will see the sets as I use them. So that should be, uh, that should be the way it goes. A lot of threats on my opponent's side, that's for sure. Oof, a lot of threats there. I do have the Eye of Pop Berry on this. Uh, they do have Clay Doll to Rapid Spin on me. I don't have Taunt on my Sableye, so I want to be very careful. Hmm. It looks like it might be dual screens, potentially. I'm still going to try and lead off a Shuckle. If they Taunt me, that's no big deal. I like Shuckle a lot versus them. A lot of strong Pokemon on their side. Like, it could be dual screens with Venomoth. Venomoth is a giant threat. Venomoth looks like it just 6 0s me. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's see what happens. They might also lead off with a giant Sleep Powder. I do a final Gambit on my Shuckle, so that is an option that I could do too. They lead off with Aggron to probably click the Head Smash versus B. <laughs> but this is also their Stealth Rocker. But the other Stealth Rocker could also be Clay Doll. Huh. So, Head Smash and Heavy Slam are definitely options Aggron can go for. And me being um, <laughs> me being physically defensive doesn't actually help me here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into my Claydol, expecting him to go for that Head Smash or anything like that. Claydol should be able to take it decently well. Uh, decently well, because I'm special defensive. So, by that I mean I'll take 60%. So, we do see a Head Smash from the get. Woof! And what I say... What I say, like 60% from this guy. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do here is I'm going to teleport, anticipating my opponent to switch, because I don't think he'd give me the Aggron immediately, unless you know that I'm not running max speed on my Claydol, because Aggron is just barely faster if it's running at him max speed. But because I know that's Choice Ban, I mean, that should be Choice Ban, and it has Rockhead as well, uh, they should switch, but they don't. Okay, so had I Earth Power there, uh, and if I was fast, I would have been able to KO them. But it's okay. I'm going to get a KO right now with my homie. I'm going to go right out to Metachamp. Giant threat, man. Giant threat. All right, I'm taking, a, I'm taking a Pokemon from you, and I don't care what you do. I am taking a Pokemon from you, and I do not care what you do. You want to you hit me with a Super Power Pokemon? I'll hit you with a Super Power Pokemon right back. Give me this Mon right now. Right now. Though if they are physically defensive, play it all. They don't have a switching. Like, Claydol, I don't, I don't know how much it takes, but if they're special defensive like I was, they are not taking this well. They are not taking this well if they're special defensive. I feel like I missed. <laughs> I landed. Let's go. Oof. Unfortunately for me, my opponent is definitely, definitely physically defensive on their Claydol. 
Maybe they teleport here? If they teleport, it's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna go for high jump kick again. I can't like if I if I go shuckle as they teleport and they bring back in Agron, I'm in a I'm in a bad spot. So I rather do this. They can't kill me one hit. And yeah, they go for Stealth Rock, that's fine. They cannot kill me in one hit. And I'll be doing big damage. So, you got head smash for you? You're going to kill me with a resistant hit? I'm going to kill you with a resistant hit too. Going for it again. Let's see if we can land three head jump kicks in a row. Also, obviously getting rid of this would be nice because this is their spinner. Let's see. We managed to land three head jump kicks in a row. Claydol is gone. Alright, so both Claydols are dead. Mine did a little bit less than theirs. So they have a giant, they have a uh, threatening team. What is that? Venomoth. How do I want to deal with Venomoth? I do have a Scarfmon in the back. I actually don't think I can win with Kingdra. All right, I'm going to go Sableye and let it go to sleep. My opponent doubles out into Electrode. Ooh, interesting. I don't know if they expected me to go Shuckle or what was that play there, but hey, it worked out. Shoot. It worked out for them. It definitely worked out. Okay, so they have no water resist on their team. Like, the Licky Licky probably doesn't take it very well at all. If I go for Will O Wisp and they bring out Houndoom, I'm in a bad spot. I'm just going to go for Foul Play. Does good damage to something. And ideally, this is my this is the ideal situation for me. I die, so then I can bring out Kingdra. And then uh I die. I I go for rain nets as I die, and then I bring out Kingdra. Right? That's what I want. There's Licky Licky. Alright, it is uh it is Cloud9, so that's something to keep in mind. I do see an item on Licky Licky. Uh, I want to get up Sticky Web if possible. Actually, what would this even do to me? I'm just go for another foul play. I don't want to willow this because I'm, I'm not sure what they want to do, but basically the more I weaken this Licky Licky, because it doesn't have Wish, right? So the more I weaken Licky Licky, the easier this game becomes because this is not a Pokemon that will be taking two Surfs. So again, I'm just going to go for uh, Foul Play again. Just trying to weaken Licky Licky as much as possible. Maybe they go Houndoom now. There's Electrode. That's fine. Get a little bit of damage off on that as well. That <laughs> emphasis on a little. And unfortunately, I've been paralyzed. That sucks, man. Because what I want to guarantee that I can get off a recover here. Because I will live their hit. Let's see. Okay, I do manage to break through, thankfully. <laughs> As they go for Volt Switch, yep. Okay, luckily I managed to break through. I'm assuming Agron might make a, a play here, might come out now. Maybe they go Venom off. They go Houndoom. Okay, so Houndoom should be able to knock me out with a Dark Pulse. What? So what I really hope here is that I managed to break through and I get off this rain dance so I can go Kingdra after. Come on. Break through. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. So they should knock me out now. You should definitely knock me out now because I could be an annoying mon. They go for Dark Pulse. Perfect. Sableye dies and I bring out Kingdra in the rain. And I have four turns to wreak havoc. I have four turns to wreak havoc with Choice Vex Kingdra. Now the thing is, Licky Licky, I did that damage specifically. It's going to ignore the rain. But I did that damage specifically so I can click Surf at this point. I know that Hydro Pump will smash them, but I need to go for Surf. Because I can't risk missing. So Kingdra gets to come out now. It'll knock out Electrode. It'll knock out Houndoom. It'll knock out Aggron. I think only Licky Licky won't be too... I hope Licky Licky will be too KO'd. I really do.
I know I'm gonna do a lot to Licky Licky. So there's Licky Licky. Again, I got off those foul plays for a reason. I got off those foul plays for a, re a reason. And this ignores the effects of rain. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That is a two KO. That is a two KO, baby. I don't know if they have protect, and the reason I don't think they have protect is because there's no wish on Licky Licky, so I don't think it makes sense to have protect. Yeah. So that should be a dead Licky Licky. Perfect. And that should be another two KOs. I don't think that crit mattered. It looked like a pretty solid 2 KO. Rain is still up. So I can click Surf on Agron and Electrode. Perfect. I'm good with Electro Die. I'm definitely good with Electro Die. So we Surf here. Which will knock out Electrode. Do I have one more turn of Rain? I think I have one more turn of Rain. I think. I do have one more turn of rain, so I'm gonna pick up one more KO. Oh, I almost wish I was Damp Rock, man. So there's Ven oh, I would love to be Ven Venom off as well. Holy crap, this would be great. <laughs> so we go for the uh, the Surf on this. If I mean they can't give me Venom off, they're gonna lose. They have to sack Agron or Houndoom. It's probably Houndoom. Oh, I feel like if they give me Venom off, they lose though because they can't kill Kingdra. Oh, it's Focus Sash. Okay. Now, I do have Bullet Punch. They go for Sludge Bomb. And they get the Poison on me. Okay, so what I want to do here... Is I want to go Shuffle. I want to keep Kingdra alive. And I want to get up Sticky Web. Uh, because I can always bullet punch this with Metacham, so I'm not worried. But as long as I have Sticky Web up, Metacham will win as well. So I'm going to go out into this. They could Sleep Powder me, I guess. But best case is they Sludge Bomb and Poison me here. They Bug Buzz. Does nothing. Doesn't even activate my thing. I'm going to go for Sticky Web. They go for Quiver, which is fine. Quiver shouldn't matter. We get up Sticky Web, so now that I'm faster than a Houndoom. I don't think Roost would be on a Focus Sash set, perfect, personally. I'm going to go for Stealth Rock 2 as well. Just to see what happens here. Sludge Bomb. Not going to be able to knock me out. Going to activate my Berry. We get up Rocks as well, which will pressure the Houndoom. Nice, man. I'm so glad the, the last minute tech on the, uh, the tech on the, uh, the, what's it called? <laughs> on Sable I went through. I was really worried about that para, man. And final Gambit here as well. I can live a hit. They can't do anything to me. They Giga Drain. I think they still die to final Gambit because they don't get enough back. There we go. So... Venomoth dies. Shuckle managed to get up all the sticky web and everything. And let's say that is Scarf Houndoom. I'm actually going to check if that's Scarf Houndoom. I'm going to check right now. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Kingdra. I'm going to go Kingdra. I think it's Spect Houndoom though. I really do. But I go Kingdra here, which guarantee outspeeds Agron and knocks it out with Surf. And then all I got to do is Thunder Punch their Agron. Let's, let's say they don't have Sucker Punch on their Houndoom. All I got to do is Thunder Punch it. And then knock it out with Dark Pulse for my own Houndoom, which is guaranteed faster. And that's only if they have Sucker Punch. If they are Choice Specs, I'll be faster with Kingdra. So, Kingdra's going to be able to pick up the KO here on Agron easily. Oh, Kingdra's a menace, bro. It's crazy because we have both of the... We have the two menaces of RU. I have Kingdra and he has Venomoth. Like, both of these mons are definitely not RU material. They're just too much. Like, he even arguably had an answer to Kingdra. And it still wasn't enough just because Sable I set up for the Kingdra, man. But like I said, I think this is Choice Town Doom. I don't know if it's Scarf or Specs. I think it might be Specs. And if it is Specs, obviously I will be faster. If it's Scarf, it'll still be faster than me, unless it was Modest Scarf. If it was Modest Scarf, then my Kingdra will be faster than that. Let's see. 
exactly it was specs or not looks like it was specs hound doom so kingdra is going to be able to pick off so many ko's right here with the choice specs and that's going to be game so i hope you guys enjoy game one kingdra definitely went absolutely crazy here it went absolutely crazy here uh sableye for sure mvping it up though like i mean you guys saw why i went for foul plays on licky licky it ended up coming to play because i was able to two it ko right there the crit didn't matter i mean you saw how much i did so it shouldn't have mattered but if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like subscribe please check out danny as well his channel link will be uh, uh gg bro uh can send the next challenge in a sec Definitely check out Danny. His channel link will be down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you guys want to get UU battles and below, this is RU specifically, but if you want to get UU battles and below, so you want to use Pokemon, you, you're tired of seeing Scizors and Latioses and Weavals and Rotom Washes and stuff. If you want to know the tier list, go to PokemonShowdown.com, go to BDSP OU, and none of those mods you can use. But if you click BDSP UU and BDSP RU, you can use any of those mods. So yeah, 2022, 2022. The OU one is 2022, 2021. Check out Danny. Subscribe to me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.